Hey guys, welcome to Atari Series 7. Today I'm reviewing this, which is the Marvel Legends Series Deluxe Black Widow action figure. So really cool, really blessed to pick this up today. And man, this thing is just so awesome. Uh, I remember when they announced the Black Widow Marvel Legends, I was incredibly disappointed that the white uh, costume wasn't it, because I just think that suit looks so cool from the trailers. And then a little bit later, they announced this pack, which is really neat. And uh, this is the first in their attempt of mine at Deluxe sets, which are basically just going to have extra accessories and a fight stand. And overall, I don't really like this concept as a long-term concept, but I do really like it as a one-off thing. Like, you know, I don't mind if they do it every once in a while, but I don't want to see them, like, turn this into a regular thing. But yeah, we have the Black Widow movie logo here, and I'm really disappointed that the movie is getting pushed back, but obviously for safety re uh, reasons. Hopefully it'll get a streaming release or something, but we got a nice queer view of her in package with all of the amazing accessories and uh, over here we have this artwork kind of like a cartoon comic style it looks pretty good actually I like it and on the back here you have the fight stand how it works and I believe this is the first time Hasbro has ever made a Marvel Legends fight stand so a lot of people are really excited about this one uh, me definitely um, I just think it's pretty neat let's open this up so, really quickly, I thought I'd look at Black Widow first, and um, as you can see, she's really cool. She's in the all-white suit, which I think looks really, really neat. And I like the head sculpt. I think it looks pretty good. Definitely looks like the actress. It's one of the printed heads, and uh, it looks really nice. I like the paint on it. The hair looks good, too. I like how it comes across, and then how it folds over here into the back together. I think that's neat. She has this harness piece, which goes all the way around. And um, you can see a suit, just, it looks really cool, really nice, really clean. It's just a nice looking suit. And uh, yeah, and you got the red on the shoulders here, which is pretty cool. Kind of matches that red that we've seen in the virals. I don't know if that's related to the actual suit or anything. I know a lot of people think it's the pen particles, but... I don't know about that. It looks pretty cool. And then here we have her belt with the Black Widow emblem. And uh, this, uh, I believe this is a new piece, it's like a harness piece, which is really, really neat looking. The really cool thing is you get these guns with the character, which you get alternative hands for her to hold them, uh, but because of how the guns are, what they did here was really neat. You can actually put the guns into the holster, so that's pretty cool. A lot of times you'll have guns that are just like pre-molded in. It's very rare for them to actually make guns where you can like put them in the holster and everything, so I think that's really cool. I really like that. Um, it's nice weapon storage, and it just looks neat, and the, uh, the knee pads look good too. Just all of it looks really nice, really clean, really crisp, and um, yeah, she also has her little stingers there, or widow bites look pretty neat, and I like how the gloves kind of fade off, and you can see her fingerprints as well, or hands. So yeah, in terms of our articulation you got a 360 of the head you can look up and down 360 of the arms and swings out of the shoulder you have single jointed elbow and a 360 there you have 360 at the wrist and they're on hinges uh, that torso kind of weird abdomen joint thing. the legs come forwards backwards and outwards you got a 360 at the thigh double joint knees and the feet move up and down and rotate and one of the coolest things about this, in my opinion, is you get these little blast effects that you can put on our gauntlets so it makes it look like she's actually shooting her weapon and, uh, to show off that effect, as you can see, it looks pretty cool. It just slides onto the gauntlet, and uh, you can use it with either hand. It just looks really, really neat, really, really good. And, um, yeah. You get the little grabber thingy, which is nice. Um, very neat weapon. You get two of them, and you also get the alternative hands. You get the trigger hands, and uh, you get the fisted hands, and the grip hands. So, pretty cool. Very neat that they include all that. Now time to talk about the main event, and that is the flight stand. And this thing is really cool. I like that they put the Hasbro logo down here. Um, you'll notice you have like these, uh, you have a peg here and a peg here for the character to stand, but you also have this, which allows them to fly. Now what they did here was really cool. This thing is pretty articulate. So you can like bring it down to here if you want. You can like move it all the way up and down. Uh, you can rotate it, so you want them in a different pose. These are actually kind of like spring-loaded almost. Not spring-loaded, but you know, they... Like, as soon as you pull them out, they pull back. So, it's pretty neat there. You can also rotate it again, like I mentioned. Uh, a lot of articulation on this thing. So, if you're wanting a lot of dynamic poses, uh, which is what most fight scenes are for, you can do that. You also get these really amazing effects piece like this. This is like an explosion piece that you can kind of put down here in the center or off to the side. And uh, it just makes it look like fire. And you get another one back here. And you have these little pegs so you can place some more of them in there. And you get these two separate ones, and they look a lot like uh, the arc reactor, not the arc reactor, but the, um, what's that, uh, repulsor blast pieces for Iron Man. And then you get one that's hooked together on three sides, um, but you can see lots of explosions going on there, and... 
boom we have black widow trying to escape the explosion jumping from that looking very cool and you know we have seen a lot of flight stands um, from a lot of different action figure companies over the years but this one i think is pretty cool because it allows you to do a lot of different things i know there's some really neat ones out there but i think this one's pretty nice i also like that you have a little bit of something to display down there as well so it's more or less you know you get a lot out of it and i think that's pretty neat I also like the fact that you can kind of customize it, like have all these different exploding bits, or just have something kind of like stand if you want. I also like too, like how this moves up and down, so you can have like different levels of just posability, and I mean on camera too, like you notice like it's kind of how close it is here, but like this would be really great for taking action figure pictures. I know I do that sometimes on my Instagram, so there's just a lot of really cool things you can do with this. Really quickly, here's a comparison with the Endgame Black Widow, and uh, I definitely like the face sculpts. I'm not entirely sure which one I like more. I really like the Endgame head. I kind of like this new one, uh, though I think it looks pretty good. Um, both represent the actress very well and how she appeared in both movies, um, but yeah, pretty neat. The great thing about the flight stand is the custom ability. Um, you'll notice like the stand itself can actually be moved. I pegged it back here, but you can have it front and center if you want. You can have it to the side. The only thing you're limited here really is your, your imagination. I mean, it's just pretty cool. And it does work for other characters too, like Spider-Man, as you can see here. And um, I think it's pretty neat, you know? A flight stand is something we've all kind of always wanted. And I mean, it just looks so cool. It looks like Spider-Man is like leaping above the giant explosion here. And it just looks pretty neat. Um, like I said, I think this is going to be great too for like taking pictures of the action figures and everything. And uh, just the poses, everything you kind of do about it. The fact that they made the articulated stand. And a lot of companies do this, but I just, I think they've done a really good job with it. Like I said, they are talking about making this a recurring theme. And to be honest, um, I'm not completely sure how I feel about that as I feel you know I don't want him to do it with every single series but I do think this is really cool and um it just it really pops like seeing Captain America again with Monier jumping over the explosion uh this fight stand is really cool and the Black Widow that comes with it is really cool because you know a lot of times we'll see sets like this um not particularly sets like this but you know we'll see where characters include with something like say a vehicle the character isn't always as good as the thing you're buying it for like I definitely feel like everyone's really getting this for the stand but I feel this is a really good Black Widow action figure and I think the stand itself is really cool. It has a lot of fun customization options. And just again, you know, the idea of like the fight stand and Marvel Legends scale and how it works, it's definitely one of the coolest things I think they've ever put out there. And yeah, thanks for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.